Chapter 1, Lesson 6, Equivalent Ratios. Today you will be able to determine if two ratios are equivalent. There are different ways to determine if two ratios or rates are equivalent. One way is by examining unit rates. By comparing quantities as rates in simplest form, you can determine if the relationship between the two quantities stays the same. When rates have the same unit rate, they are equivalent ratios. Equivalent is another is a mathematical word for equal or the same. So if we look over here, 10 prints for $2, unit price or unit rate is 5 prints per dollar, and 30 prints for $6, the unit rate is also 5 prints per dollar, which means the two ratios of 10 and 2 and 30 and 6 are equivalent ratios. Determine if the pair of rates is equivalent. Explain your reasoning. So we have 20 miles in 5 hours. We want to make this a unit rate, so we put 1 in the denominator. To get from 5 to 1, we divide by 5 and do the same up top. 20 divide by 5 is 4, so this is 4 miles per hour. That's the first unit rate. The second unit rate, we have 45 miles in 9 hours, and I'm looking right here. We want to make it a unit rate, so we need the denominator to be 1. To get from 9 to 1, we divide by 9, and we do the same in the numerator. 45 divided by 9 is 5. So if you compare the two unit rates, they are not the same. Because they're not the same, these ratios are not equivalent. So when it says explain your reasoning, we're going to write just that. Since the unit rates are not the same, the rates are not equivalent. Letter B. Determine if the pair of rates is equivalent. Explain your reasoning. So three t-shirts for $21. Oopsie. Okay. So generally speaking, we would put money on top. So $21 and three t-shirts. I'm just going to label it T. Let's make that a unit rate. To get from 3 to 1, we divide by 3 and do the same up top. 21 divided by 3 is $7. Now the next one, we have 5 t-shirts for $35. Again, unless otherwise stated, money always goes on top. $35 for 5 t-shirts. We'll make it a unit rate by making it 1 t-shirt. To get from 5 to 1, we divide by 5 and do the same in the numerator. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now in this case, we do have the same unit rate, therefore they are equivalent. So, since the rates are, the unit rates are the same, the rates are equivalent. Letter C. Felisa read the first 60 pages of a book in three days. She read the last 90 pages in six days. Are these reading rates equivalent? Explain your reasoning. Okay. So we have 60 pages, Oops, that's supposed to be a P, there we go, in three days. To make it a unit rate, we need the denominator to be 1. To go from 3 to 1, we divide by 3 and do the same in the numerator. 60 divided by 3 is 20 pages, so 20 pages per day is the first 
great. And then we have 90 pages in six days. So 90 pages, six days. Again, make it a unit rate by making the denominator one. From six to one, we divide by six and do the same up top. If you don't know what 90 divided by six is, do the long division. Six goes into nine once, minus six is three, bring down the zero. 6 goes into 30 exactly 5 times, which means our rate is 15 pages. We have 20 pages per day and 15 pages per day. They are not the same, therefore the ratios are not equivalent. So, since the unit rates are not the same, the ratios are not equivalent or rates, it uses rates. Letter D. Marsha made 10 bracelets for five friends. Ben made 12 bracelets for four friends. Are these rates equivalent? Explain your reasoning. So we have 10 bracelets for five friends, let's put one in our denominator. To get from five to one, we divide by five, and we do the same up top. Ten divided by five is two bracelets per friend. And let's do Jen. Jen had twelve bracelets for four friends. To get a unit rate, we want one in the denominator. To get from four to one, we divide by four. And we do the same up top. Twelve divided by four is three. So we have two bracelets per friend and three bracelets per friend. Since the unit rates are not the same, the rates are not equivalent. Part two, compare ratios. If a unit rate is not easily found, use equivalent fractions to decide whether the ratios or rates are equivalent. For example, determine if the pair of ratios or rates is equivalent. Explain your reasoning. So we have three free throws and seven attempts. And I want to see if it's equal to 9 free throws and 14 attempts. So because I don't know if this is true or not, I'm going to put a question mark over my equal sign. So here's how we figure it out. How would you get from 7 to 14? Well, you would do that by multiplying by 2. And how would you get from 3 to 9? Well, you'd get there by multiplying by 3. Now, because what you multiply is different, I know that these ratios cannot be equivalent. So, since the fractions are not equivalent, the ratios are also not equivalent. And one more thing you should do, if something is not equal, you should put a slash through the equal sign to show not equal. Letter B. <laughs> Selena is comparing the cost of two packages of DVDs. A package of six DVDs costs ninety dollars. Actually, let's move this down a bit. So ninety dollars for six DVDs. I'm just going to use a capital D. And we want to know if this is equal to a package of three DVDs costs forty-five dollars. So forty-five 
and dollars and three DVDs. How do we get from six to three? Well, we can divide by two. And to get from 90 to 45, we also divide by two. So these ratios are equivalent because you're dividing by the same number. So long as you multiply or divide by the same number in the numerator and denominator, they are equivalent ratios. So let's write that out. Since the fractions are equivalent, so are the ratios. And letter C. Mrs. Jeffries has 12 girls out of 16 students on the student council. The Earth Day Committee has 4 girls out of 8 students. Are the ratios equivalent? Explain your reasoning. So let's start with 12 girls out of 16 students. And we want to know, is this equal, question mark, to 4 girls out of 8 students? How would you get from 16 to 8? You would divide by 2. And to get from 12 to 4, you would divide by 3. So since these are not equal, I know that these fractions or ratios are also not equal. So since the fractions are not equivalent, the ratios are also not equivalent.